What's up people of the internet? I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the silver mode architecture and part of the Batria family of power efficient processors. It has two cores and two threads and it has a frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a frequency of up to 792 MHz in the N2840's case. It's also based on the Intel HD 4000 architecture, while using the latest driver suite available. You also have 4 GB of RAM in single channel mode as well as a 500GB hard drive for the operating system and also in which the game is installed. As for operating system we are using Windows X Lite Restore Revival version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is City Skylines, the best city building game. This guy has been begging me to benchmark City Skylines for a long time, so I better not leave him waiting any longer. A few notes to make. First, I'm gonna be benchmarking a very old version of the game, and by that I mean the absolute oldest one, way back from the release date of March 10, 2015. Any cool DLCs are out of the question on such a low end PC. Second, I'm also going to be using the dynamic resolution mode, I will provide the download link for it for pirated versions of the game in the video description. To install mods on pirated cities skylines, go to users, app data, local, colossal order, city skylines, add-ons, mods, there, extract the folder from the content of the zip file download, then open the game. Go to Content Manager, then go to the Mods tab, and finally click on the little square where the mod is. And that's it. Third, I'm gonna run the memory duct up before watching the game, and I've set it to clean the RAM once usage reaches 90%. And let's get straight to the points now. 